What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the Fear the Walking Dead season two, season finale, whatever. Episode of Wrath. Uh, new refugees throw off Travis. Nick must decide if he should stay at Colonial with Luciana or leave. And episode North, cause you gotta make way for every single episode of The Walking Dead, so you can't have two episodes. We gotta have two hours. Uh, when Travis's rage causes unrest at the hotel, Madison has to choose whether or not she will stand by him. Nick becomes leader of the colony. That's not who's closing. So, yeah. What happened? Two hours. Two hours ago. Uh, so, in Wrath, basically all that happened is, uh, Ophelia was walking the desert. She made it to the border, found a home, went through, got shot at. By some strange man that said, sick, welcome to America, senorita. And then, uh, Brandon and Derek are at the hotel. And we learned that Chris died in a car crash. And that's how Brandon's shoulder got messed up. Well, that doesn't sit well with Travis. Because when he sees them, and starts pounding on the window again like Chris. He goes down and he tells them what happened and they go into a room and they basically lie through their teeth and he figures out what happened. Basically, Chris was driving the car because he wasn't pulling his weight and then dozed off, rolled the car a bunch of times, they flew out the back, he crawled out and his leg was messed up so they shot him. So then Travis beats him up and kills him. Uh, and then in North, well, the whole time, went back and forth between all three people. Um, basically, at the colony, at La Colonia, uh, the colony, um, what you call it, Nick went with Aldo to the cartel people, and they're like, we don't need you, we're hooking up with somebody else, so you should run while you can. So then Nick is trying to tell them, let's go, convince Luciana, and Alejandro got bit on the arm, and turns out he was a faker, and got bit by the boy who was a drug addict that he was trying to help, and that's how he has a bite. So basically, we deal with him lying to his people the whole time, very emotional, very distraught, uh... Madison tells Travis, like, it's okay what you did, but, uh, I forgot that guy's name. Anyways, one of the brothers, the brother of the guy whose wife was a zombie, yeah, and he got, he tried to break up Travis from killing the two dudes. And got hit with a door and went unconscious and was in, like, a coma type of thing with the concussion and they try to do brain surgery on them makeshift style and it don't work and they kind of separated Travis from everybody much like they did with the woman whose daughter died and, st and stabbed Strand and then Madison's like J we'll just go just let us go we'll just leave well, that doesn't set with the dude whose brother died, or Hector, so they go up to kill him, they get into a fight. Alicia stabbed the guy because he had a gun on Travis, and then Hector kind of ran off when Victor showed up with a gun or something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, they leave, they crash through the gate, and Victor tells them to leave, and I think he's not getting better, so he's just going to stay and turn into a zombie and eat their faces. But it's amazing how quick they turn on that girl stabbed Victor, and it's the dude who, Hector's the guy who helped lock the people in the hotel at the first place. So it's like, you killed people, you helped kill people, he killed people, now let's band together and try to kill him, which is like, whatever. Um... So anyways, everybody at the Colonia uh, left and went north because Chris saw a helicopter. And the Narcos people 
the cartel people, whatever you want to call them. The dudes with the guns show up, and everybody's gone, except for Alejandro. He's in the, he's hiding, and then he goes into the bus, and moves the bus. So basically, the cartel people are dead, are all dead too, because they got overrun by these super slow walking zombies, which drives me crazy. Because if you read the comic book, uh, they're faster in the beginning, and then the longer they are alive without feeding, they get slower and slower, and the weather affects them too, as much as, like, when it snows, they freeze. But anyways, Alicia finds him, because they all went back, because they found, um, Francisco? Yeah, him and his family got shot after they gave up information, and, uh, yeah, they go there, and... They fell into Alejandro on his last breath, and he basically tells them, Nick saw something and he's at the border. So all the, the colony is walking, and they stop and look through their binoculars, and it's like, just making, getting my bearings right, or something like that. Anyways, I see, it, see that like out there, and they're like, oh, it's a re refugee camp, and it's not that far, maybe an hour, a couple hours walk. And then they all get shot at by some military-looking dudes that aren't very nice. So I think they're still trying to keep our border safe out there. And that's how it ends. Uh, they, they also stabbed, Madison stabbed Alejandro. So yeah, it was pretty uneventful. Don't know if I'm in it for the next season. I guess I kind of got to because I already put so much time into it, right? Gotta see what's up. But anyways, uh, Walking Dead starts in two weeks, I wanna say. Right? 20-something? Yeah. No. 23rd? Yeah, two weeks would be the 23rd. So I'll be here for that, and I'm also here for American Horror Story. Super into it. Peace. Thanks for watching. Do all that good YouTube stuff. You do so well.